Hey folks, Landstrider here, and welcome to what's going to be the final episode in my Utopia Resurrection series. This is episode 25, and as less you guys can think of something else for me to do, um, this is probably going to be the final episode. So, uh, there's something I want to do with it, one of the mods that's added in 1.0.1 uh, for the final episode here. I just want to kind of improve on some other things that I've been seeing other people do. I'm going to take a quick look around and show you what's up. I did have to, uh, I, I don't know if I remember, I think I showed you that I, I set this up to be automated so that it would make our, our cells. I forgot to push this button, so when I came on today, I had to uh, had to uh, get it sorted again, but now the reactor is running nice and smooth now. It's, it's uh, staying active all the time. Um, this thing's probably backed up, yeah. I can turn that back on now and start making some more. Uh, what was the osmium that I was making with that? I've been using this to uh, get rid of all the extra B products so that they don't just stack up and stack up because they do stack up quite a bit um, from all the bees producing all of the uranium. And if I look in here, you can see we're never going to run out of uranium power. I could probably um, start a couple more reactors. When I first log on and I open that interface, it takes a little while for it to load all the stuff. So, and then after that, it loads right up. So that you can see we've got over 10k of uranium dust now. Um, probably a ton of plutonium as well. Yeah, look at that, a ton of plutonium. So we could uh, easily get multiple reactors running now if we wanted to, but it's not no, it's not uh, not really necessary. We got a dec decent amount of power to run the base the way it is right now, so. Uh, I am going to talk to Nemson and see if he can give me a copy of our dimension, just our dimension here, where the space station's contained. It'll also contain that little village uh, that's over there. Let me go look at that real quick. Take one last look at that. Although there is something I want to take. I got a terminal right here. There is something I want to take. So, no N K. Oh, don't have them in there. There's a particular tree that I kind of like. Uh, I just recently grew it. Where is it at? It's called a, not that one, Cocobaro isn't bad. Actually, we'll, we'll take a look at that one. We'll take a couple of those. Um, it's a one by one, but it's the this one right here. The Is it the monkey puzzle? No, actually it is the Cocobaro tree. And take a bunch of these about eight of them maybe even there we go 12 that's good all right we're gonna take some of these over and grow them on the island to kind of uh, fill in some of the areas that don't have trees yet never have finished that all off i'm gonna leave it a little bit unfinished there's some uh, minor detail work that uh, isn't going to get completed over here it just takes a second to load in and we got uh, a, a decent amount of villagers living over here now. Uh, they've bred a little bit, and then we brought a few extra ones over. They've got kitty cats. Uh, there's a few blocks missing here and there. Like this, I think there's a well over here is supposed to have a couple blocks around it. I uh, didn't put the water block into the fountain up here. Uh, quite a bit of the interior of some of these buildings are not done, but we're gonna. I'm gonna leave that for anybody who downloads it and wants to fill them in. Um, you know, basically the exteriors of most of the buildings are done. Uh, the exterior wall, a good portion of the trees are planted, but I want to plant a few of these. These Cocobara trees are really, are really cool. And we'll just put one there. We'll just put a few of them here and there. I think there's supposed to be a tree there. And these would do good for the side of the island, I think. So they're kind of a tall tree. And there we go. Get it to grow. Get a couple of them grown. Now, it requires that it have, like, see, this one has one leaf, or a couple leaves in the way. So if I just clear out those leaves directly above it, it should now 
there it goes poof grow and then it'll kind of just kind of combine in with its its neighbors there you see it's a pretty nice looking tree really grow there it grew and again this is another one that's I'm gonna have to clear out directly above it in order to get it to grow pretty much just clear everything straight above it and then it should go grow there we go and I'm probably gonna run out of uh, bone meal before I get them all to grow so well, maybe. Maybe I'll get them all. That one probably has... Oh, well, actually looks... Whoops. Looked like it would grow, maybe. Yeah, there. That one was okay. Clear view to the sky. Basically all I need. And there we go. Now we got all the trees for this... For that little corner of the, uh, the island there. Um, probably need to come up with another tall tree for over here or something. Like I said, I want to leave this... For anybody who downloads it, fill in a little bit of gaps and stuff. There's a lot of flowers that are supposed to, like, this entire island is supposed to be just about covered with flowers, so. I got a good portion of them in and stuff, but, uh, but anyway, this is, this is the state that's going to be left in. You can, uh, if you download the, uh, the, the dimension and put it in your world. Uh, you can come in and tweak it and mess with it and blow it up, do whatever you want with it. It doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, have fun. So anyway, that's the village. We're done with the village now. We're not going to go messing with it anymore. Like I said, just some trees really is all. It's missing a couple blocks here and there. But for the most part, it's about 99% done. So, And we can move on. Uh, I did, did finish. Um, I, ha I have the Eden program. I did finish a dungeon program. Reload the dungeon program. Um, we can see that if you try to go in this door, you can't get in. It's, it's uh, blocked from that direction. So for the dungeon program, you need to go in this door over to the side here. The side door. And we can see that we've got a jungle temple. I didn't get the grass to grow either here. I was trying. Well, I had the watering can out. But it doesn't seem to want to. Uh, in fact, actually, while I'm thinking about it, Turn my particles to minimal so that you don't see all those little swirlies in front of me all the time. Because whenever I'm at the base, you know, I'm getting the, that, that regeneration thing. It doesn't seem to want to grow that grass in here for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's, it's uh, not well enough lit or something. But anyway, there's only this little bit of grass that needs to grow anyway. And then you can walk around here and go into the front of the temple. And you might recognize this temple as the vanilla jungle temple that's exactly what it is it's vanilla jungle temple uh completely recreated down to you know all the moss stone everything's exactly the way it would be including the uh the levers i didn't put any treasure in the in the uh in the actual chest there's a chest in there but i forgot to put any treasure in it um i'll leave that up to somebody if they want to put treasure and it does will shoot arrows um I could have put potions and other things in there, uh, like maybe some splash potions of, har of poison or harming or something like that in there and just kind of spice it up a little bit. And of course, this one works as well. We've got pl plenty of arrows. <laughs> Shooting the arrows at myself. Um, so yeah, fully works. And then the, this puzzle is should be fully working, like if you if you toggle those levers in the right way it should open up a block down here and then give you access to the treasure in the wall uh, I intend to I intended to but don't have one really handy was to put a skeleton spawner in here somewhere like hidden in the wall somewhere um, back underneath there somewhere probably right where, where whoops yeah, yeah, probably right there, <laughs> where I probably intended to put the skeleton spawner, just to uh, to spice up the dungeon experience. But uh, I don't know if I'll have that in or not whenever it, it, whenever the, this gets to be converted into a download. So it may or may not be there. 
you'll just have to uh, check it out. And if you want it in there, you might have to go find one in the overworld and bring it and move it in there. So I'm gonna unload that. Now let's see. We got the Eden program I showed you already. That's the first one I made. It's just kind of a, a little stream with a, with a uh, with a bridge and a little um, whatever they call those um, things. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. Uh, yeah, the little dang it, can't think of it. Anyway, I, I don't know if I've so, showed you the Blind Bandit Saloon or not. This is one that Lord Raccoon created, and it is really cool. He did a really good job of this. I think it has a definite Western feel, except for maybe the the uh, the Oriental style paintings. But you know, those are gonna look different depending on your texture pack. Um, but they're the large paintings. They got some paintings behind there. Uh, and stuff. So it's got it upstairs, and these are like supposed to represent all of the the rooms that the uh, the inn would have. You know, uh, obviously these are not actual doors; you can't open or anything. Uh, but you know, you can just imagine that there's little rooms behind there where you can uh, where you can rent, stay the night, or what have you. And down in the basement here, Raccoon made a really cool. Yeah, here it is. A completely vanilla based potion brewing system where you can just come in here and push a button and it'll make the potion listed down here uh, I think if you push like you push like one of these buttons down here and then come down here and you can go you can then increase the duration of the potency or, or add the, the splash effect to it and then up here he's listed what needs to be refilled into these various droppers in order to make this work it's really cool really cool i like it um and because it's all vanilla blocks and stuff it will be stored whenever uh you know you load or unload this program so this is a, not only a nice visually appealing uh program it actually has a functional use of something in the basement so we can play come in here and play pool we can go down and make some potions uh we can hang out with elvis hey buddy what's up elvis um, and then somewhere around there, there's the barkeep. Um, never, I didn't, I haven't renamed these guys. Maybe I should have. But, uh, so yeah, we got the musician. Um, uh, don't, you don't have a piano. He needs a piano somewhere. Oh well. And, uh, the barkeep in here to, uh, serve you drinks. So, yeah, really cool. Um, my contribution was the, uh, the name. Uh, Lord Raccoon was having a hard time coming up with a good name for a, uh, bar type thing. And uh, I thought Blind Bandit Saloon sounded really cool. And then uh, he ended up making it, giving it that nice Western theme that we've seen in there. And I think it was really, really awesome. Did a really great job there. I uh, did not get any other submissions. I was hoping to get some some viewer submissions. So, uh, yeah, there's still three unset programs that have no, uh, that don't have anything in them. Uh, I believe this one has a disc, but it's, you know, nothing in it. So if you uh, download it, I think there's at least one blank disc ready to go. You might make two more if you want to make something for those other programs. And I can pretty much guarantee that if you download the world download, the, the computer craft program is not going to be correct or set even. So you might have to go get that from Pastebin and plug it back into the computer. So uh, just something to be aware of if you, as you mess with that. So let's move on. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to, to view. Nothing's been done down here. Um, Profound has just not had the time or or or, um, uh, or or whatever to really expand on this or get any further with it. But uh, these are still processing the B products. You can see it's processing the barren combs right now. And uh, that's still happening. Uh, nothing new down here. Here we got the uh, the reactor is running. And the nice thing about this I've noticed is that it doesn't um, it doesn't burn up its fuel unless it's actually outputting its power. So that's nice about it. So it uh, it's not wasting fuel just to have it sit here with fuel in it and stuff. Um, I don't I never did make anything to hook it up, but there is plenty of osmium in order to create a uh, an advanced replicator. Um, and mass fabricator probably um, 
possibly even more of these Nakwada Mark I reactors, or possibly make a Mark II reactor. I don't know. Uh, this thing right here, still, still, it's still sitting here. If you download the, eventually, I'm still gonna get, I am gonna get the uh, the configs. I'm gonna make a set of configs that, that will turn this uh, pack, fix a couple of the problems, and turn it into back into what would be considered hardcore. Get rid of all those easy recipes, easy to bypass stuff. Um, get rid of that cheaty power. Um, so if you load those configs, that thing won't work anymore. I can tell you that. Um, it's not going to be out when I first release this video. I apologize for that. It's going to take me a little while to, to get around to it because i got some other packs that I need to, uh, to deal with before I can get back to making that corrected pack version thing. So um, what am I growing up here? I don't know. I was uh, had a couple trees up here getting some pollen, I guess. I'm not even sure what tree that is. What is it? Antica something. Now that might be a desert Antica. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, there's tons of pollen, tons of stuff. I didn't make every tree. I didn't finish every tree. Um, I did get some special genetics, like the 3x3 three three girth for the tree. You can do that. There's some other things that are specific to the tree, like largest height which is nice um there's what do i have two three by three regards oh this one has ah i made this one to do a practical joke but i ended up deciding not to do it because the other the person i was gonna pull a joke on really isn't logging on too much so i don't think it would uh i don't know i'm sure he would see it so anyway there's a largest fireproof and three by three genome there so you like turn all a bunch of different trees into like giant versions that are fireproof and go plant them in your in your friend's base. Uh, so yeah, then you have to cut them down by hand because you couldn't burn them down or nothing. But anyway, let's get on to that final thing that I wanted to make. So uh, in 1.0.1 version of this pack, it added funky locomotion, and you've uh, probably seen some people messing with funky locomotion making frame miners. They're kind of cool, uh, and I've been wanting to make one just for well to say I did it and kind of to improve on some other designs that I've seen people using with it so um so credit to uh Van Hal and Direwolf 20 those are the two people that I've seen working with the frame thing and I'm going to kind of combine some of the ideas that they've that I've seen on their system to try and make something nice and simple and elegant and we'll see if we can get that done so Funky Locomotion adds frames. And there's like a ton of frames in this pack. Uh, like all these ones that Greg Tech's adds. Those are not the ones we're interested in. We're interested in just the Funky Locomotion frame block. Right here. And that's created with a bunch of Invar and Invar Nuggets. It's pure Invar. I've, uh, I've gone and made a bunch of Invar in advance. Actually, there's still some more to be made there. So... If we look at frame block, get some funky locomotion frames, and we're just gonna get a bunch of those as many for as many as we have nuggets. Apparently, is 24. Um, I think I'm gonna need more than that, so let me go ahead and grab some more of those. Let me get a full stack. There we go, full stack frames, and we're gonna be doing some things with those. So. The other thing we're going to need is some either some frame pushers or frame sliders. Right, so let's look at uh, funky. Yeah, there we go. So not very many actual blocks to this um, to this mod. It's got the frames, it's got a slider, it's got a pusher, and it's got a puller. And those are really all there is to it. And these other ones are actually just different meta values of this one. So. Um, which apparently it has a different number for, but we'll, we'll not worry about that. They're no, they're not craftable, um, or are they? Interesting. Interesting. Um, apparently you can pre-craft them. Uh, you can also just uh, set the sides, like, and I'll show you how that all works here in just a second. So we're gonna need some. I'm gonna use sliders just so that I don't. Uh, well, maybe because I need singularium nuggets for that. I guess the frame pusher is the easiest thing to use. This is the basic thing. You want to make a frame pusher before you make a puller or a slider. 
Right. So I kind of maybe I'll just use pushers since that's the first one that we can do. And I'm going to need some stuff. Wow, that's a whole bunch of stuff that I don't apparently have. Oh, we want this. Does that require... No, it can you use any frame. It says any frame, so... Need some gears. We're going to need some tin gears. Let's just uh, quickly make up a few tin gears over here. We will grab the gear out. Don't forget that when we're done using this, we need to put that extruder back in there for the cells or we'll be in trouble later. And that's going to go ahead and automatically eject those gears back into the ME system. So they should show up here in just a second. There we go. A tin gear. Is that? No, it's an iron gear. Okay, we need a frame machine. We're going to need a couple of these. So I just got to wait a few seconds. While that's happening, maybe I will make that singularium. Sing, how is it? What? How is it spelled? Uh, if I wanted to make sliders, I need this stuff. Signalium. So signalium. Can I? Yes, signalium. How about? Yes, there we go. Signalium blend. There we go. That's what I need to know. Uh, that's going to take some copper dust and some silver dust. Do we have any of that? We have some silver dust in there. And we've got a bunch of copper ore. If we just go ahead and throw some of that in this pulverizer over here, that'll cook up relatively quick. Um, still waiting on that to finish up all the gears. We can go ahead and make a few more of the machine frames. Machine frames right here, like that. Two, three, um, four, five. And I already had one in there, so that's going to give me about six. Uh, should be good for now. Actually, I think I'm going to need eight total, maybe. Uh, and then let's get, uh, oh, still cooking those. So. Uh, I want to need some redstone. Destabilize redstone. Let's see if I have anything that might work for that right now. Does not appear to be. Well, I have a bunch of impure redstone dust. I can go just throw that in a cauldron to give me some redstone. Cause, uh, I know I had a bunch in there, actually, but... Um, hold on, why don't I come down? Oh, yeah. I'll come down here to see if there's anything in my magnum crucible and make sure that it was clear. Actually, I've got deep stabilized redstone in my thing already, so I don't need to do any of that. Just go ahead and get some buckets. And then we can uh, bucket up some destabilized redstone right here. What do I got about six buckets worth? I probably don't need nearly that much sig sig siglarium <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we will go ahead and pull out all that. We don't have enough for another bucket, so... Not quite. I could put a few more bits of redstone in there and get a few more buckets of this, but... Not overly necessary now if we look at... Let's see if we can... Trace that back through again. That need the dust. Now, if I do that, there we go. I can get a bunch of dust. And that uses up all of our destabilized redstone that we had ready to go. And that's going to give us a bunch of ingots. I think we can just cook those in a standard furnace. Yep, yeah, we sure can. Is it still making ingots? Okay, it's down to the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and Swap that back before I forget. And now we should be able to make the sliders. All right, funky doke motion. We need to make frame pushers first, which is going to take some enderium nuggets. We have enderium. We should have 
No. Doesn't appear that we have any Abderium. So I'm going to have to make an Abderium. Uh, I think I've done this before. On camera. I'm also going to need to get rid of that last bit of redstone. So I have four in there. I think I need to add six more bits of redstone in order to get that last bucket of redstone out of there. Let me see. How much does that increase? Yeah. Two, three, four, and five. That should do it. Oh, my short one. Short one. There we go. That gets my last bit of redstone out of there. Now I can go ahead and start melting some under pearls down and getting some buckets of of dis or of uh what's it called? Ender Ender something. Get my ender buckets. Resonant ender, that's what it is. I need some resonant ender to make some enderium. Ethereum blend, which is going to be silver and tin. I find it hard to believe that I don't have that much tin dust. I guess I don't have tin dust ready to go. So we'll go ahead and pulverize some of that. Oh, wrong lab. Over here. Toss that into this pulverizer, and we'll have tin dust in no time. Uh, let's see, is it on? Okay. Uh, tin dust. There we go. Whoops. It's moving around because the value is changing. All right, we should be able to get... Well, it's a little bit of it. We need more, probably more than that. When I come down here, I should be able to get my other buckets. A couple buckets worth. There we go. That was four, four ender pearls per bucket of these uh, ender, resonant ender. All right, let me get the rest of that enderium there. And... How is it showing that I need to cook this? Can I just do it in a regular? Oh, it says blast furnace. Okay. Apparently, yeah, it's a little different. Um, so yeah, I guess I got to throw this in the blast furnace. And then, I uh, took my hand to wait a few seconds on that. Uh, I don't have any hot yet. No, okay. So hopefully that won't take too long. Okay, tins, that's all ready to go. So, yeah, I think I just have to wait on that. Hopefully uh, the recipe is not too long. We'll get the usages of that and jump back to the blast furnace. Somewhere it'll tell me 300 seconds. Wow. Okay, well, so, um, yeah, I'll be back in a moment whenever that's done crafting. Okay, I'm back. I think that even though you can do it this way with the uh, furnace here. Why am I digging in? Probably because I have, an, I have pyrothium dust in my inventory. Yeah, apparently pyrothium dust is hot. Um, you should be able to put pyrothium dust and enderium dust in an induction smelter. Ah, oh, there we go. That's going to be much, much faster. Much faster. And that's going to take... There we go. Uh, so yeah, that'll be done in just a second. I don't have to wait on the big old blast furnace to finish up. So we get... And that ends up with an enderium ingot right off the bat. So now we can get a couple of nuggets. And get back to making our funky locomotion stuff. So we got to start with a frame pusher. You know, we should have everything for that. There we go. Get six of those. And then I'm going to get some frame sliders. Okay. Oh, I need the... Uh, some of those. 
Um, let me start with three of those because I ha I don't see if uh maybe. Maybe this is going to work out. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to be right back. I want to go test a few designs real quick in single player, and then I shall return. Okay, I'm back. I've done some experimentation in single player, and now I think I'm ready to build it. I was originally going to make it go multiple directions, but I think I'm just going to stick with one direction forward. So, um, anyway, I've been making some parts to kind of get ready. You can see I've uh, down to one frame slider, one frame pusher ready to go. I think a stack of frame blocks is going to be more than enough. I've got some ME dense cables, some red cable, and some gray cable so that they won't cross. And I've taught the ME system to be able to craft... That's right, annihilation planes. So, I'm going to need about, I think, 19 total, but we'll go ahead and craft 20 of these just to make sure we got enough. Hopefully I've gotten enough of other materials ready to go. It looks like I just got to make a few things. Uh, so just go ahead and do it. Craft those up for me. And it should craft those relatively quick. See, it's dropping some stuff over here. I just kind of need to keep an eye on it for a moment, make sure that all the stuff goes into there. Looks like, looks like it's doing its job over here. Then... The other thing I need to do uh, here at the base to get ready for the thing is to uh, to get ready the there's two things I need actually I need a a way to shut it off remotely because I don't want it to just run forever um, so I'm gonna use this switch right here this I should still be able to use this and I need to get Nemsum to remove this clockwork engine before I uh, well, if he sends me the file, then I'll go in and just remove it. But it's just kind of a doesn't need to be there type thing. Um, so we need some a wireless transmitter and receiver. Looks like I've already got a receiver. That's good. So now all I need is a wireless transmitter. Wireless transmitter. Probably don't have the stuff to make any of this. Well, I have a bit of it. Um, I need one of these things. The Aether uh, Pearl. Reether. <laughs> um, then I need to make one of those. Then I'll probably need to make some more sticks. And then I should be able to make this. There we go. Wireless transmitter. Perfect. Uh, and we can go ahead and let's see. I'm just going to mount that dir like directly above this lever so that... Uh, It'll receive that signal from the, le the lever. Excuse me. Should be able to get that to go straight in there. And just get a factory block of some sort to put up on there. I like these for random blocks. Put that there. That there. And I'm going to set this to frequency... We'll say 101. Why not? Seems good enough. 101. So if I turn that, no. Oh, there we go. I just, it, it's now toggled on, which is what I want. So while this switch is on, the Tesseract will be off and it'll be transmitting a signal through. So I need a couple more bits of redstone for the other side. So I'm going to need a couple. Um, uh, the repeaters. Repeaters. I want these kind because the blue power ones don't seem to work half the time for me whenever I try to use them. Uh, and then the other thing I actually need is the, unfortunately, the only, have, only option I have for this is red power, but I need a timer. Timer. Oh, I thought I might have one in there, but I guess not. So I've got to make one of these. Should have. Three of those, one of these things, and one of these things. And there we go. A timer from Red Power. Now, it's not the only option for timer other than um, 
Well, I guess I actually could use a red net timer. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't test that as far as what, how well it would, um, you know, what it would do when you moved it with a frame. So I want to stick with what I tested. All right, so that's the redstone bits I need. Let's see, I just need the annihilation planes to be finished up, and it looks like it already has crafted them, so I should be able to grab those. There we go. There's our annihilation planes. Um, now the only other thing I need is mining wells, and mining wells in the... Uh, ender chests. So I'm just actually going to go ahead and use a whole bunch of ender chests. So I want them to all be this frequency right here. So I don't have a problem making a bunch of these. I got plenty of materials to do so. So I need purple or green. So if I start with purple, then I got to change uh, green and white. And those are actually fairly easy to change because I got plenty of cactus. In fact, let's just go ahead and cook up a stack of green real quick. And let's see, we have wool. I don't have a lot of wool, but I have enough. Enough to do what I need to do. So I need some purple dye. Purple dye, do I have? I actually have enough for this. Good, perfect. 16 is exactly what I need. So if I do, I can't die, already died colors. So I need 16 of these. There we go. And if I go ender chest, tell to do that and then change that wool to the purple wool that I have in here and get me well, there's eight. What on, what on chests? I need more chests. Craft me up ten more chests. Go. And I'm going to snag it. There we go. Eight more. There we go. Sixteen ender chests. Now, unfortunately, I gotta put, I'm got i going to have to dye all these whenever I get over there. Um, I'm going to have to put green. So I now have... 16 green, and then the final color is white, so I can just take some bone meal for that. There we go, that'll only die on my chest. Uh, and then, there's like one more thing I needed. Oh yes, the, the mining wells, of course. Mining. There it is, the uh, mining well. You know, hmm, could I have it? How many gear, iron gears do I have? Iron gears, I have one. Probably be a little bit cheaper if I just went ahead and used the press, although I think this might be kind of slow. Let's see, there's the gear. How quickly will this make the iron gears? Eh, it's not too slow. So I need a bunch of those. I'm going to need 16 iron picks. So I have, oh, do I have any of those? I can actually have a craft those. And I have one in there that's kind of damaged. Let's go just fix that up real quick. Might as well, right? Uh-oh. It looks like it needs to have some more rubber put into it. Uh, rubber bars is what it needs. There we go. There, it's all fixed. And there's at least one I don't have to craft. Uh, picks. So I have one in there. I need... 16 total. Let's go ahead and tell it to make me 15 more. And we are missing a saw. So maybe I should make a saw. Okay. Give me my 
steel rod. Plus a saw blade. There we go. There's a saw that should last a while. Okay, all that just so that I could how to craft some pickaxes. I probably could have made the pickaxes in this amount of time. Uh, twice over or three times. And I could even type pick. Let's try this one, one more time. There we go. Let's go. All right, I was going to make my pickaxes. Now, if I remember what I was making in the first place. Oh, yes, it was mining wells. Mining wells. Go, and I need 16 of them. Boom. Done. Perfect. Loving it. Okay, so now I've got 16 mining wells, 16 ender chests. The stuff to make set them the right color. Hopefully enough ME cable. My sliders. There's one other thing I need to take with me. A block of redstone. And I think that's it. Alright, let's go over to the deep dark. Set this up. Alright. So, as we can see, there's actually ores way up here. Way up here at this high level. So what I want to do is I want to get the entire column of everything. So we come drop down here. Bunch of mobs and stuff around. Yeah, anyway. Um, what I want to do is I want to go north, right? I just, I just want to drop down here and make sure that north from the direction of my my area up there was not this big pit because this is a big pit we've been using to uh to collect well originally we collected the resources and then we set it up and you started collecting the dirt because we need the dirt for the island oh yeah and there's one other thing i need to get from right here oh that goes mr creeper falling in the hole that's good there's one other thing I need to get from this, which is this Tesseract right here. Because that Tesseract's now going to become the Tesseract for the uh, the World Destroyer thingy that I'm building. Everybody seems to call him that, so we'll just go with that. And I want to come up here again, and I'm going to go north from here, right? Facing north, yeah, so that's going to be up this direction. Did I bring any? I uh, probably got some torches somewhere in here, I hope. So I wanna need to light it up a bit. No? No? No torches in here? <laughs> well, I need torches, so I'll be right back. Okay, now that I got some torches, I can continue on up. And I make sure that I keep it lit well lit so that the darkness don't kill me. I want to get up to a reasonably high Y level so I can get the majority of, of all this stuff. All the good stuff. I'm just going to let this thing continue north as it goes. So there's our way up here. That's good. Well... It's whatever, but I definitely, if I want to get it all, I need to get way up here. Um, I think at some point I'm just going to say that's high enough. Possibly a Y level 200. Seems like it should be high enough. Plenty high. Plenty high. Where are we at? Uh, almost. Not even. Yeah, we got another 25 to go and get up to the, to the 200. Not seeing a lot of ore at this level, but it's hard to say if you're gonna, we're going to encounter any up this high. No, look, there's ore. It's definitely worth coming up this high. Look at all that. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to continue on up. Well, let's see, we're almost 200. And 
Get over there. Get on up there. One nine. There we go. Two hundred. I'm at Y level two hundred. We're gonna build it right here at this level. So I'm gonna turn on my chunk borders. I see some chunk. I see some chunk borders down there. Good. And I'm gonna start. Well, don't have to go that far. But I don't have to go very far that direction. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself some headroom here. Come over this way till I see the chunk border. There it is. And give me some light. And I'm going to need to clear out some space in this direction. Oh, there's stuff even above here. There's, there's still some stuff further up. But I could go all the way to the bedrock, to the upper bedrock. I think there might be an upper bedrock. Something I might want to check. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, not quite enough cleared out, but I think I need, like, maybe two more. Of that. Little headroom. Oh, and I do remember something else that I forgot. I don't have to go back and get it. I'm going to get to that point. this up a little bit put them down in the hole because those were not those are not going to get built into okay well I don't know if I can slap these against I can that actually is useful that's actually very useful Um, where did all the cobblestone go? Interesting. What did, what did happen to all that cobblestone I just picked up? Do I have, oh, I see, I have a diggers. I have my diggers pack, which is probably good, although it has an overflow of cobblestone. There we go. Oops. Okay, good enough, good enough. Um, yeah, this is going to be very helpful. And how did I run? Oh, I need more than that. I need more than I was thinking. I need like 32, 6-ish. So I'm going to have to go back and get more of those anyway. So, but I can start laying this part out. So... Um, I'm going to put the red on the bottom. What is that? Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Then I take the gray and I will be putting that. Oh, that's right. I can't. Uh, this one actually needs to come off because what's going to happen here? Let me get just grab two more of those. Uh, because right here in the center, we're going to have a different thing. I don't want to need to get more cable. I think colored cable possibly. I could have used regular cable right there though. I'll get more of the gray cable when I go back over there. Uh, then what goes right here is dense cable. Two and three. Then I need a layer. Yeah. Then we go like so. We're going to go bring these across. Now you're so you're probably saying right about this time, you know, it's gonna stick to the bottom. You're right. So I have to actually get underneath this. Because I don't want I want the I want all these um frame pieces to grab 
the cable, but not the stuff that's underneath them. So I need a wrench. And if I just click that, there you go, see it turns opaque. And that means it won't grab onto the block on that side of it. It'll just slide right past. So all along the bottom here, I need to make sure that that's going to slide right past anything. And then let's get uh, the next bit here is actually all of the mining wells. So we'll put those down. Sixteen mining wells for the full chunk wide thing. And finally, well, not finally, not even close to finally, but um, let's see here. Those are going to get some things on top of them. I can actually go ahead and lay these down. I don't want to have to go back to the base here in a second, but get those extra cables and some other, some, a few other things that I forgot. Uh, let's see, but I can finish laying the rest of this bit out here. So, Flux cable, Flux cable, that's the big heavy stuff. Oh, yeah, there's a couple, one more, one other major thing that I, I'm just remembering. So, on top of each one of these, I'm going to put an ender chest. Just like so. And I need to go down through and dial these. So, it's purple, green. So, I got to get the middle on each one of these green. And then I got to go back through and get the. Third one, white. I'm going to finish that up. I'm going to go back to the base, grab a couple things that I forgot, and I'll be back in a moment.